हेलो दोस्तों सब्सक्राइब कीजिए टेक्निकल आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो देखने के लिए सबसे पहले बिस्मिल्लाम Hi friends, this is Ayub Khan here, and you are watching uh, Technical Ayub Ji channel. Uh, friends, so uh, you can see this is my channel, and I have uploaded lot of videos so for you. And here you can find all types of uh, uh, software flashing, FRP bypass, and everything here. And I have created a playlist too, so that for for each category, you can find Samsung, Sony, and all other categories here. and you can also uh, check uh, uh, my other videos uh, uh, by pass the latest videos i have uploaded it and uh, today we are going to see motorola e uh, second gen uh, uh, mobile uh, and this is a Sna this is a qualcom processor and we are going to take frp we are going to clear the frp unlock so i'll just show you uh, this is a phone here and just i'm clicking next and down you can you can you can't find a skip button because this uh, this frp locked actually so let's see how we are going to uh, do it uh, and today i'm going to use a uh, umt pro dongle uh, to the others uh, friends uh, i'm just going to turn it off friends please do subscribe uh, my channel and uh, Uh, hit the bell icon so that uh, i'll be uploading the daily videos and you you can find in your notification in your mobile or your laptop or your computer so i'm just holding a volume down and power button i'm going to the uh, fast boot mode now see uh, you can feel, see the fast boot mode and now just go ahead and connect your uh, phone you can see this fast boot mode or uh, bootloader mode it's not a problem So I just open the UMT. I'm just going to select this uh, Motorola uh, module, and now I'm going to click a new FRP button uh, to proceed further. So let's see what happens here. See, uh, automatically it detects the phone and it try to uh, enable the uh, what you say that is a uh, ADB mode, ADB USB mode. So let's wait uh, uh, for a few seconds to turn it on, and once the uh, phone is fully functional, I mean turn it on, on state, and then we need to click on OK. So now it is booting up. So you can see Android is starting. Okay, now I'm going to click OK button. So again, it will try to update some information in the phone and uh, to enable uh, the USB debugging mode. So again, we need to wait for few seconds. So it updated something and it is rebooted. Uh, friends, I I have also uh, uh, provided my WhatsApp group link. and facebook link and uh, instagram link you can contact me any time there and uh, please uh, uh, to support me so so this uh, phone is fully on and i'm just trying to click okay so it 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 has some uh, three to four times it will ask you to i mean it will try to restart because uh, it needs to enable uh, the debugging mode now it shows that uh now uh, in in the screen they'll show us debugging option uh, where we need to select uh, uh, the box and click uh, allow to accept uh, the connection uh, between your computer and your uh, phone so let's wait for a few seconds so now it will be automatically it will be appearing it but it is not uh, doing in this case so what i'm doing it i'm just trying to reconnect it uh, uh, unplugging your usb and replugging back again to check whether it is doing it it got restarted so let's wait for few seconds to see what happens so most of the time it happens my friend uh, uh, for this motorola sometimes what happens uh, in the one shot it will automatically it will show us um hello uh, hello usb debugging mode will be enabled it sometimes it won't happen for that you need to uh, just uh, unplug your usb and reconnect it back to check 
sometimes uh, you may need to restart the phone once or twice uh, to enable it so the same thing happening from uh, in my uh, my case too so here uh, it is not popping up so what I'm going to do I'm just remove it and reconnecting back to check it so still it is not showing so be please be patient uh, friends or uh, it will take some time I know sometimes uh, you feel bad when it is not uh, happening yet. so now again it is restarted so before that don't please don't click ok so till you see that uh, uh, allow usb debugging option so it will uh, you need to you may need to uh, try three to four times or sometimes five times also to do this one or you need to do this option uh, do this uh, uh, steps again and again i'm just trying to click ok but it is not happening yet sometimes what happens when you click ok to try to trigger it see here uh, now you can see here yeah. so allow usb debugging so you need to click uh, that option and click ok now click on ok so now uh, see you uh, see friends is trying to remove the frp it shows uh, FRP has removed we started ok and now it will go to the bootloader mode again and now click on ok so that it will try to uh, do the factory reset and then it will try to uh, get in into the phone so now I am sure that uh, the FRP has been removed clearly without any issue let's see now so let's wait for a few seconds uh, it will take some time to get in here yeah, it is loading up uh, friends sometimes what happens so uh, you can see this uh, uh, Motorola logo logo and it will it will stay for long and long that time what you need to do you need to just try to hard reset it so it will be going see your friends uh, FRP has been removed successfully without any issue so let's see in the next, next video please do subscribe to my channel and hit bell icon thank you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video from my channel